Good evening. This is a continuation of the video that I did earlier regarding the FUBAR exchange that I had with Mark Bryan this morning uh, with my two younger children. I waited four hours. No, actually I waited five hours and um, had really felt that that was long enough and I needed to go into work. So I went to work and I was contacted by SPD who then said they were willing to come in and meet me. I didn't want to meet in the workplace just because there's humiliation for me as a victim. I don't need to bring that into my space. So I met them on the street, which I don't know if that was any better, but uh, the SPD officers that came to take the report were well-versed in domestic violence, were incredibly helpful, and they were concerned and uh, they recommended that I have a civil standby because they knew that I had to go back to pick up my children at 8 p.m. tonight. Um, I left them and called SPD when I was close to the exchange point at about 7.45, and I met uh, two patrol cars several blocks away from our exchange point, and there were four officers. I was a bit um, uncomfortable just because although I know that they're concerned for my safety and my welfare, I know that I know Mark and I know that that is going to cause him to take action. And I'm not quite sure what that is, uh, whether he's going to do something uh, to stalk me or he's going to do something uh, emotionally to damage the children, which he continues to do to control them. Um, I don't know, but at any rate, um, I had the two patrol cars come with me to the exchange point and two officers got out of one patrol car and waited outside their car for Mark to arrive. They stood there, they didn't interfere, they just made sure that I was safe and they made sure that the children were safe. And of course the children were very upset uh, because they don't like that and I understand why, but it was a safety precaution. So the two girls stormed into my car, they slammed the car door and they wouldn't talk to me, uh, which is pretty, pretty common after a visit with her dad. Um, and from there we, we came home. But just an update that uh, it was, it tended to, it seemed to escalate just a little bit, but uh, I had SBD behind me, which is extremely helpful and it's reassuring. So I am very lucky to be a victim in this city <laughs> and this county uh, because we are given a lot of resources and there's a lot of knowledge. Uh, it's not ideal and it's not perfect but it certainly is better than other areas uh, from my understanding. So there we are, we are all home safe and I can only cross my fingers and hope for the best for our future. All right, thank you and take care, bye.